Okay, we are finally doing this. I have a feeling this is gonna be really long, so I'm gonna try and keep this intro as short as I can. I tried to divide these into vague categories, so it starts with frequently asked questions, uh, stuff about books and booktubing, and then personal. There was a lot of copying and pasting involved in organizing all of the questions, so it's entirely possible that I have missed something. If I have, I'm really sorry. Just re-ask it in the comments and I'll get you down there. And finally, to visually differentiate, answer me will be just like this, and question me, we'll be wearing a snazzy hat. What are your favorite books? The Magicians and the Magician King by Lev Grossman, uh, Lamb by Christopher Moore, The Great Gatsby, the Harry Potter series, and The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. What are your least favorite books? Least favorites is harder, because I feel like there's, there's something that I can get out of every book that I read even if it was bad or I didn't like it. Uh, the book that I've reviewed for this channel that I liked the least was definitely Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. I find The Scarlet Letter very frustrating. I'm gonna talk more about that in a later video though. I, I really did not like the Twilight books, but I just don't really care anymore. Like, I think we've all moved on from that debate. What is your favorite genre? Uh, I guess I have to go with fantasy. I think I read the most of that. And what books of that genre would you recommend to someone who says they don't like it? The Princess Bride by William Goldman. Everybody likes The Princess Bride. What classic books would you recommend? Well, if you're trying to start reading classics and you're just like, nah, I don't know what to do, I would recommend To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Jane Austen is really good too because the language is, is pretty easy to get into as a modern reader and they're, they're funny and entertaining. You could also try A Room with a View by E.M. Forrester. And obviously I'm gonna throw The Great Gatsby in there because that's my favorite. What other hobbies do you have? Besides reading and YouTubing, I play the ukulele and I knit very poorly. Generally, I try to run, but I have been really bad about that lately. Need to get back on that wagon. And then there are like the standard hobbies that everybody does, like watching movies and hanging out with friends and that kind of thing, you know. What are your criterias for books that you read? What are some of your pet peeves with books? In the times that this question has been asked, I made a video about buzzwords and deal breakers that answers this really well, so I'm just gonna annotate to that. What was the first novel that you ever read? This kills me, I don't remember. What were the things that influenced you to become an avid reader? My parents, basically. I come from a book family. What's your favorite nonfiction book? It's kind of a toss up because I like a lot of nonfiction books, but I'm gonna go with Assassination Vacation by Sarah Vowell. How many books do you own? I think I'm at over 200 now. What's the biggest book you ever read? Oh, hello there, copy of Atlas Shrugged from my teenage asshole phase. Do you own an e-reader? No, but I'm not opposed to them. Harry Potter or Twilight? Harry Potter. What book series would you like to see turned into a movie? The Gemma Doyle trilogy by Libba Bray. Who's your favorite female character? Let's go with Hermione Granger. That's a good choice. What are your favorite feminist fiction and nonfiction texts? For fiction, I'm gonna go with The Prime of Miss Jean Brody by Muriel Spark. And I also have somewhere a really excellent uh, short story collection called Four Short Stories by American Women that's really good. I highly recommend that one. I think it's published by Penguin. It should be pretty easy to find. For nonfiction, I'd say A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf and uh, Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. Is there a literary character that you're ridiculously attracted to? They, they put a winky face there. That's what that was. I can't think of any, so I guess not. Do you like graphic novels? I love graphic novels. I'm not very well read in them yet, but they're great. Do you prefer sympathetic villains or pure evil villains? Sympathetic. Who's your most loved fictional character? Oh, that's too broad. I can't pick. Who's your most hated fictional character? Again, too broad. Sorry. What books would you reread? Oh, there are a ton of books that I want to reread. I really want to reread A Wrinkle in Time. Uh, I really want to reread The Great Gatsby pretty soon. And To Kill a Mockingbird. I want to reread Catcher in the Rye and Wuthering Heights because I, I really disliked them the first time I read them and I feel like I might like them more now. There's a bunch of stuff really. If you could create a mashup book, what would it be? Well, at first I was like, oh, I would want a mashup between The Great Gatsby and Harry Potter. That would be amazing. But then I realized somebody totally wrote that. 
and it's amazing. So I really don't know and it's killing me because this is such a good question. What book would you love to play a character in? Obviously I want to go to Hogwarts, I mean come on. Who is your favorite love interest in a book? Augustus Waters in The Fault in Our Stars. How much do you spend on books in a month? I don't buy books very often. I think if you averaged it out it would be like five or ten bucks a month. Do you buy all your books? I do. I wish I didn't have to but I don't live within a library district so out of luck. Show us your bookcase, please. It, it's right there. No, I get what you're saying. I, I would love to film a bookshelf tour, but I film on an iSight camera that's attached to an iMac, so not so portable. So bookshelf tour is going to have to wait until I can get my hands on an actual camera. Does your family know you're a booktuber? They actually don't, which is weird because I'm not really keeping it from them and several of them live with me. And the soundproofing in this house isn't great, so I'm pretty sure that they can hear me talking when I film these, and I don't know what they think that I'm doing. Did your friend ever get a good book recommendation? Oh man, so this was so long ago that a lot of you probably have no idea what this was referring to. Back in September of last year, I brought my friend Anna on so that she could get a book recommendation because she was looking for something really specific. And we were like, give Anna some recommendations based on these criteria and she'll read some of them and then we'll make a follow-up video. And the follow-up video never happened because uh, right after we made that video, Anna got caught up in planning her wedding, but the wedding has happened now, so she's gonna have time to read and then come talk about books with me on the internet. Do you enjoy making reviews? I do. I wouldn't do them if I didn't. Woo! That's not a question, but I like your enthusiasm. How old are you? I'm 13. Oh, wow. I bet this channel's been very educational for you. I'm, I'm 24. Well, I'm gonna be 25 in like a week. Yeah. What was your favorite book when you were my age? That was when I first started to really get into Harry Potter, actually. And I really liked uh, the Redwall series by Brian Jacques. Sometimes I think I should reread those, but I, I strongly suspect they do not hold up. Are we alone in the universe? I don't think so. Did you know that it's Polar Bear Day? I did not, but I feel like that has probably passed by now. Ramble your feelings on the topic of butternut squashes. You see, the great thing about butternut squashes is that you get both the butter and the nut. Best of both worlds. What is your favorite thing to nom on? Waffles. Are you a coffee drinker? And if so, how do you take it? I love coffee. I try not to drink the fancy coffee drinks so much because they're full of a lot of empty calories. So generally I just drink uh, your standard coffee with a little bit of milk and two sugars. What are your religious beliefs? I'm an atheist, but a lot of the times I describe myself as a secular humanist because that seems to make people less angry. Are you in school? I am not in school. I was in college for a while, but it turned out to not really be for me, so. Do you do any writing? Uh, sort of. I've been trying to write this web series for ages and I've just been stuck on it. But I think I finally figured out what the problem was. So maybe that'll finally get totally written. Are there any places you want to travel? Oh, probably be quicker to list places I did not want to travel. I want to go everywhere. What are your worst fears? I'm terrified of heights and I have really bad claustrophobia. What is your craziest dream? I can never remember any of my dreams. If you could only have one wish granted, what would it be? I would probably wish to always be financially secure because money makes me anxious and I would like to not have to worry about it. If you had a superhero utility belt, what would you put on it? I would probably just take Batman's utility belts. I mean, that probably has everything you need on it. Batman is really prepared. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have this one. This is Bones. He's upset with me because I woke him up from a nap. Do you not want to snuggle? No? No. What was the first play in which you performed? Not counting like class plays and that kind of thing where you were required to participate. I believe my first one was Guys and Dolls my freshman year of high school. I was a hotbox girl, it was fun. What are your favorite movies and actors? 
Uh, Singing in the Rain, The Fall, Lurks. I know I'm forgetting something, but that's all I can think of off the top of my head. As for actors, I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with Jennifer Lawrence right now, both in that I think she's really talented and that in I kind of want to be her best friend. What are some of your favorite comedy movies? Well, Clerks, obviously. Clue. Clue is really funny. There's this 80s college comedy starring Val Kilmer before he got really famous uh, called Real Genius that I absolutely love. It's super funny. Who is your favorite Disney character? Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Who is your favorite character on The Vampire Diaries? Caroline! Like, to the point where I don't really understand if your answer is something other than Caroline. Because Caroline! Do you listen to much music? Yes! Have any favorite bands? I listen to a lot of show tunes, actually. But as for, like, bands and, and recording artists, I love The Beatles. I love Otis Redding, Sam Cooke. My favorite band in high school was Fountains of Wayne. I really love the Monkees, actually. And for some reason, I can't stop listening to One Direction. I don't, I don't really know what's happened. Play any instruments? What do you think about the realism, non-realism debate? I don't know what this is referring to. So if you want to clarify in the comments, I will, I will try to answer down there. Okay, I'm really tired now. So I hope that, that was informative and entertaining. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.